Hey people, and welcome to another video from the depths. Today here with another vehicle showcase that I made. Vehicle that I made. Today I'm talking about the Retaliator. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Um, it's it's a design loosely based on on the Avenger that I showed before in another video. It has the same kind of red data blade stabilization thing here um well let me just talk about the basics first this was supposed to be a stealth vessel um designed to stay at medium to long range i guess i mean yeah um about like two kilometers two thousand meters basically and it was supposed to like shoot from range and not really get hit that much um, it wasn't supposed to get targeted and stuff, so it was really lightly armored. Um, but I mean, I retrofitted it a lot, so this is the, like my best version yet, the Retaliator API, which means active and improved protection, pretty much. So it has a lot more armor, a lot more add-on armor, and it has this munition defense laser. So, as for the armaments, let's get to that first. It's, yeah, it's entirely armed with missiles, and as I said, it has this one munition defense system right here. So, it has, it has these 20 medium missiles, which are reasonably sized. And then it also has these ones, yeah, it's, they are mostly frag. Most of, both of these are frag. I also have some large missiles with explosive warheads instead of fragmentation. Hmm. Yeah, it also has some torpedoes at the front. But I mean, this really isn't that special. Like, it also has some flares and stuff, but I mean, it's not really, you know, insanely good. And so this is basically what it was at when I built it at first, was just this. Just, you know, a stealth vessel with some missiles and I used to have a railgun on here, up here too. And it really wasn't that good for, yeah, for what it cost. So, I decided to scrap the idea and just do something else. And then I discovered red boards. And I saw someone talking about how you could use them to make projectile avoidance systems. So that's what I did for this. I built three breadboard system thingies, which each cause the vessel to move erratically when there's an enemy present. And yeah, I can demonstrate that in a second. Yeah, that's pretty much the biggest thing of this. Um, that's why it also has all of these jet engines and places where you. I don't know whether they really aren't necessary. <laughs> because this thing is mostly powered by data blades. And that's also all it needs to stay afloat and stuff. I just added a lot of these jet engines to make like the dodging movement of the breadboards more erratic. So it can dodge even better. I'll show you in a second. It's also equipped with some... Yeah, I mean the flares are reasonably good. Um... It could be better. I could have like one large flare launcher here. Uh, but I mean, it works well enough. And I think I think it's a really good weapons platform to, you know, mess around with and, I don't know, like mount your own weapons on, I guess. Um, there's a lot of. I think you can do a lot of things with this. Um, mostly it's dodging stuff. Um, I'll probably explain how to do the dodging breadboards another video um like follow up video to this one but yeah i'm just gonna give you a quick demonstration of how the dodging works and that's pretty much gonna be it so as you see it's extremely stable when nothing is happening you know it's completely you can't notice any movement it's not rocking at all it has 
pretty good PID systems. It actually has all of them, just all of them. Um, yeah, and these data blade controllers are pretty fun, are pretty good. Oh yeah, what I forgot to talk about this this thing's engine, a remnant from the railgun it used to have. It was really powerful, but then I noticed that the superchargers. I mean, I knew it before, but I only just took advantage of it. The superchargers are much more efficient at low RPMs. So I decided to make an electric fuel hybrid, basically, which means that the electric engine, I don't know, the fuel engine, um, works on very low RPM for most of the time, pretty much. So it runs on battery power for, yeah, most of the power actually just comes from the batteries. And the fuel engine just slowly charges it up. Um, and that this makes the thing just very, very efficient in terms of fuel consumption. <laughs> I mean, all of these missiles get pretty expensive over time, but I mean, as far as the engine is concerned, it's really efficient. Yeah, that's that's enough talking about this thing's engines. I'm just gonna show you how, how the dodging works. So once I spawn an enemy, as you can see, when, yeah, it starts moving in all directions, it, trying to dodge everything. And when some missiles come in and actually target me, you should be able to see that they have quite quite a hard time hitting me. For one with all the flares around. And well because I'm just dodging that much. And so you saw I think one of them hit me up until now, which makes us pretty you know, pretty efficient at dodging stuff. Um, it's actually easier also to dodge like slower, slower moving advanced cannon or cram shells because they can't like change their course with flight. They can't adjust to whatever ram dodging. Oh yeah, even the missiles are just it's just this is pretty good at dodging, is basically what I'm trying to say. But it's especially good against um, you know cram cannons and slower moving advanced cannons. Whoa, what is it doing? Oh, that's not good. I think... No, what? What's happening? <laughs> I don't know. It should be happening, but it should be fine. Um, so what I'm trying to say is just that it's really good at dodging. <laughs> I, I've, I've never seen it do this before, but I don't think it's an AI thing. I think just something got really bad. Yeah, it's not getting enough enough engine out, pretty much. <laughs> this has never happened to me. Uh, I mean, happened to this thing. It just randomly did that. But, I mean, I just wanted to show you how the dodging thing works. And yeah, this is pretty much it for, for what I wanted to show you. So, um, if you like these kinds of videos, I would... I would, I would love it if you consider subscribing because you know if you want to see my videos again you're never going to see them unless you subscribe because my channel is just so small you're never going to get the videos recommended unless you subscribe so yeah um, have a good day and I hope that I'll see you in another video soon
listening.